God. Oh. It's probably Denis Denis, I think, or Blondie. I can only remember my sister buying um, Boys by David Bowie or something like the that. The first one I remember was um, that Sugar Sugar Honey Honey thing. I can't remember who it's by. My first memory of music is listening to Beatles for Sale on a dance set, like a player. Or when we was doing the hoovering, I'm thinking in ten years' time I'm going to combine the two sounds. <laughs> Birds, Beatles, Stones, Velvets, Doors, Hendrix. If we're an influence on someone in about 20 years' time, that would be brilliant. It's not so much the actual the way the song is done, but what you would do when you listen to it. You remember a certain smell, you remember a certain taste, so you remember, you remember something that you've heard. It's almost like perfumes. When you smell, when you smell something, you, you know you, you register that it's a certain smell. Then, and then you, you, you just forget about it. You know, it's just like, well, it's great. And then it just come along again. It's like you suddenly remember where you smelled it before, or whatever, or why you smelled it. It just brings brings about so many memories, and it's, it's a really good thing. It's really sort of therapeutic. It's like the songs of that though, anyway. They record it, you know, our past anyway. And they're all stages in our lives. So I mean, we record them as we go. Well, we're probably having a time of our life, but we just don't realise it yet. Someone in about 20 years' time might say, oh, I wish I was around in the 90s, man, it was all happening there.